Okay, you have WordPress installed and now you want to add some content to it. So the first thing that you need to know is the difference between posts and pages. Pages are static pages like your about page or your contact page, things like that that are going to stay the same all the time. Posts are things you add, you can add them multiple times a day or several times a week, however you want. And they're usually sorted from highest to lowest by date, the date that they were put into the system. And so that's where you, you're blogging, basically, are posts, where the pages are your static pages. So let's say that we're going to set up the static pages for this website. We'll go to Pages and Add New. Okay, we're going to go over here to a Word document that has some content that the website owner would like into her website. So here's her home page she's got there. So we're going to copy that. And then we're going to go back over here to WordPress and we're going to paste this in. We're just going to call it home because it's the home page for now. And then we'll hit publish. Okay, now, but if you go and you look at Pinnacle Service Team, the home page of it, it still has this Hello World, which is the default uh, post that has been put in by the WordPress installation. So we want to get rid of that. So we'll go back over to Edit Page, and we're going to go down to Posts, and just click on Posts. We'll take a look at all of them. And there's Hello World. We just want to trash that. We don't care about having that post. But that's still not going to help you. If you went and looked at the page, it would just be blank right now. It'll say, sorry, nothing found. Okay. So we want to go back over and fix that. And the way you do that is under Settings and Reading. And here you control what shows up as the home page. Right now it's set to your latest posts, and since there are none, then there's nothing showing. We want a static page, and then it lets us pick which one. So the front page, we want it to be the home page, and then we're going to save the change. Okay, now if we take a look at the home page, and refresh that. It has home and pinnacle service team logo picture of something busy. Okay, she really didn't want all of that <laughs> pasted in, so we can go back and edit. And the way you do that is you go to pages. And we're going to edit that. So we can get rid of that for now. And if we want, we can change home to pinnacle service team. And she can always come back in and add more information later, but we're going to get it just set up for now. Okay, so now if we go over here and refresh, there we have it. Now we've also got a sample page that WordPress has put in, so we want to get rid of that. So we're going to go back over to pages and just trash that page. Okay, let's take a look at her document. Now, she's got a services page that she wants, so we're going to take all of that and copy it. Go back over. We're going to add a new page. We'll call it services at the top. And we're going to paste her text in. Sometimes Word is bad about carrying either too many spaces or not enough spaces. So you can have to play around with it sometimes a little bit. And then we're just going to publish that. Now, if we want to view that page, there it is. Okay, now notice how it's titled this as Pinnacle Service Team question mark page ID equal 9. And you don't want that. You want it to carry something descriptive in the title. You don't want to have these page IDs equal a number. Those are not good for search engines. So we're going to come back over here. We'll go to Settings. And we're going to go to Permalinks. 
And we're going to change it to one of these down here where it shows the sample post and the title and the date. So we'll just go with month name sample post and save that. Okay, now we're going to come back here. We're going to go to Pinnacle Service Team. Now if we click on Services, you'll see it says Services up there, which is a little more logical than that numbering system.